right for me. Where the people are broad-minded and the atmosphere is free, I can think of a million places I would rather be. We are talking Thieves in the Night. And this is written and directed by the team of Ted Donchev and Maximilian Forstein. And is kind of a Tarantino-esque crime caper, I guess you want to say. Home invasion crime caper. Now, it focuses on three professional criminals who have just finished the job and things have gone wrong somehow and we don't know exactly why, but they have to take uh, refuge in a, in a house somewhere and this house is inhabited by this family. So they end up taking this family hostage and uh, you've got the, um, the mother and dad, you've got like a 19 year old daughter and a young child. And obviously things are a little tense as you, as you might imagine. Now these three uh, criminals are all quite charismatic and all have different ideas about what to do. The kind of the leader of this group, Ray, is the kind of most level headed and ultimately try, is trying to hope for a peaceful resolution. Uh, you've got uh, the kind of the female out of these kind of criminals is the, ultimately the one who wants to just off this family and be done with it, whilst the kind of the other guy wants to kind of torture them and play with them and potentially rape the kind of the teenage daughter. Uh, along the way, we've got other people that kind of turn up um, to this kind of household uh, and various kind of interactions happen. What will happen? You will have to watch the movie and find out. So let's talk about it. What works in this movie? Now, this is clearly a very low budget movie, all really taking place in one location, this particular house. Now, it was actually filmed on the Isle of Wight, which is actually only about probably about 10 miles away as the crow flies from where I am now. Uh, it is an island, so you have to do, you do have to cross a bit of water, but it's really not far. It's in the same county as where I am here in Southampton. Okay, so a local film. So that's already a good start. Don't worry, that's not gonna influence my, uh, my critiques, I'm just saying. Uh, but let's talk about what legitimately does work. Uh, now, the, the word Tarantino-esque is thrown around quite a lot, and it certainly was in the 90s and still is to this day to a large degree. And I've seen many movies um, that, you know, I have described as Tarantino-esque. Um, and some of them are like direct kind of, uh, you know, repercussions from particular movies like Reservoir Dogs. We saw a, cry, you know, a whole wave of kind of neo-crime films, ultimately. Um, but they, you know, they never quite got to that kind of standards. And I'm not saying this one does necessarily, but boy, I have to say the dialogue here is nearly on par with, uh, I, I would suggest the Tarantino kind of uh, uh, levels of dialogue here. I thought the dialogue uh, was great. Um, I thought this is, this is obviously a character driven movie because it, it's ultimately two groups of people sitting in a house and having discussions. That's it. We get a little bit more of the kind of violence in the last act of the movie. But for the most part, it is a character driven movie. And uh, I thought the dialogue and, and as well as the delivery of the dialogue by the actors was great. This is actually quite a comedic movie without being a comedy. In the same way that, for example, and I'll use Tarantino as a kind of uh, an example here. You know, we all thought the kind of the, the scene in Reservoir Dogs where they're talking about Madonna's Like a Virgin and what it actually means was quite kind of funny without it actually being like a comedy. It's the same sort of thing with this sort of dialogue. Um, added with that kind of British twist, that kind of British uh, way of, of speaking and communicating and swear words and insults and things like that. Um, I, thought it was, I thought the dialogue here was absolutely sparkling. And it's really helped, I think, by some solid performances. Considering I'm not familiar with these actors, to, for the most part, I've got a feeling I've seen one or two of them around um, in some other films, but for the most part, they're not big name actors. I thought they did an absolutely stellar job here in portraying um, quite charismatic, very individual characters, uh, but you believe their relationship. For example, we have this um, 
uh, this kind of family, and we've kind of got somewhat of a nebbish and kind of geeky father who's quite quiet. His, uh, his wife, who we learn a little bit of history about, and then we get his brother turns up, who's kind of like the, um, the more of the kind of the macho type, so to speak. Uh, but they still be have believable uh, character traits and believable relationships. Um, the way that, for example, when this, the brother turns up, they're kind of uh, ripping into him because he's wearing like a beige cardigan, things like this, and he's got ginger hair. Uh, you know, I, thought, I just thought the dialogue here was absolutely sparkling. And it will remind you of that style of Tarantino movie without absolutely copying it. So it's very, you can tell it's very influenced by, in, in particular, Reservoir Dogs. But it's not trying to directly copy Reservoir Dogs. It, well, for the most part, there is one... Uh, think I'm going to come on to that in a minute, but for the most part, I've got to say, I think it, it it's clearly influenced by that, but it's doing its own thing and adding this kind of flavour, this kind of British kind of flavour into it, which gives it its own unique identity. So I thought that was, was fantastic. I know he's thoroughly engaged in this movie. When you watch as many films as I do for this channel, even fast-paced action films, I have to be honest with you, my attention wanes a little bit more than it used to because I watch a lot of films and when we when I'm presented with a purely dialogue driven movie you know for the most part that's ugh. but I gotta say I was I was fully invested in this one I wasn't looking at my phone I wanted to see where it was going I was believing the characters and I was enjoying the characters and their interactions and as I mentioned I think all the actors do a good job Maybe with the exception of, and I hate to say it, the kind of the little boy, uh, who's obviously not a professional actor because he's only quite young. Um, hard to find, uh, obviously, uh, particularly kind of believable child actors at the best of times. But for the most part, I think it was it was all kind of uh, very very well done with believable characters. You really do feel like you get to know them, uh, which I kind of quite liked. And. Uh, we have this kind of escalating tension through the movie where, you know, are the family going to try and do something? Is the kind of the relationship between these criminals starting to kind of fracture as they all have differing ideas about what to do? So you do have this this gradual kind of feathering in of, of, of uh, greater levels of, of kind of tension and what's going to happen and things like that. And you're not quite sure where it's going to go, where it's going to kind of all, all end up ultimately. So... If you like a good character piece, um, if you like engaging characters, and boy, engaging characters is the is the is the kind of the main thing for me, then uh, this is a really good movie to check out. I have to say, and especially if you're a fan of uh, Tarantino-esque uh, movies. Now, if I had to have some critiques here, and I and I wouldn't say it drops the ball necessarily, I just don't think it's quite as strong. This is where the actual violent part starts to, starts to happen in the movie, which is kind of the third act of the movie, where we see a little bit more violence. I don't think it was quite as well handled as the rest of the movie. Not bad, it wasn't terribly done, it was still, I think, acceptable. It just wasn't quite as, <clears throat> as, um, as good a quality as the rest of the film. Why is that? Well, I think they've decided to try and maybe ape that Tarantino style a little bit too much where we don't see the kind of the violence on the screen. Now, I suspect this was either for one or two reasons, um, and this is my speculation, they were, get, again, trying to ape that Tarantino style a little bit too much where we don't necessarily see like, the height and things like that. And when we do see the violence later on, a lot of it is off screen. Um, or it was they just didn't have the budget to film and, and execute gory bloody scenes either way uh I, I feel the the kind of the, the more violent scenes didn't quite work i didn't think they were as impactful as i think we, they could have been um because they're you know we, it lessens the impact a little bit the way that it is just shot there is one or two kind of logic issues it, 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 i have a problem with um knowing kind of what england is like uh England is not a big place and houses are quite put together, quite tight together. And we have kind of gunshots and things in, in, the, in a suburban area where you, when we see an external shot towards the end of the movie, we can clearly see that there's a neighbour's house. Again, it's not addressed um, about kind of any noise and things like that. Um, and there's a couple of decisions made by characters, both 
criminal and our family that I weren't a hundred percent. I think I don't know if that was kind of necessarily like a, a realistic decision that someone we either would or wouldn't make. But even with my critiques, I will emphasize I, I still thought it was okay the, the way it was. It just wasn't, you know, as stellar as I think the first two acts of this movie. Arguably, I mean, if you really want to be picky, it's a little bit dark in the beginning of the movie, um, as in you can't see what's kind of going on. And I think it maybe takes a little bit, 10, 15 minutes, just to, just to kind of like establish it. I think maybe the, the intro could have been a little little better, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Overall, though, I really enjoyed this movie. I thoroughly engaging, captivating characters, um, and quite amusing, I have to say. And, and it was quite... I don't want to give too much away, but I, I, it, it was impactful at the same time as well. So, um, but maybe not quite as much as it could have been. I'm going to give this movie a, let's give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, have you seen it? Would you see it based on what I've told you? Please do let me know and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.